So we've made some random cards, that's great. Now we're gonna make some good cards using the other constructors. So we have the regular constructor that was in the lecture videos. Let's see, is right here. We make a new card with two integers. And here we're making good cards, meaning that the rank is, let's see, the rank is between as one or more and not more than 13. The suit is zero, one, two, or three. And we can look at the output here. Good cards, there we go. All right, so we should not be seeing these errors. Let's figure out what is going on here. All right, this constructor takes two integers. Actually, the problem was the first constructor right there. So that first constructor has the error, which is that constructor. The second constructor right here made a three of diamonds just fine, but the first constructor is the one that had the problem. And if you want, we can absolutely comment these out just so we can really isolate and see what's happening. So I only have one card being made and printed out. Uh, and let's go ahead and get rid of all the rest of the output. So all we're going to do is build one card. And once we get the one card working, we'll worry about the rest here. All right, so what's happening here? We're trying to build a three. This constructor doesn't take two numbers. It takes an integer, a number, and a string. So I wrote part of this constructor. And we can go look for the constructor that takes a number and a string. And actually, it's right here on the screen. That was not very hard. How do I know this is the right one? Well, the first is an int, which is the rank, a number. String, which is the suit. I commented this out. You have to write the correct conditions in here. You don't want to set the rank to anything. You want to make sure the rank doesn't get set to a million. The rank can only be between 1 and 13. And here... Uh, the reason I commented this out is because condition one and condition two are placeholders. You need to actually put uh, what you need to compare it to. So we're setting rank. So these are going to have to do with rank. Uh, so you're going to need an inequality right here. Compare rank to zero. And then on the second condition, make sure rank is not too big. Before you set rank, this dot rank equal to rank. I already finished the suits right here. This is a switch statement. This is something you may not have seen before. This is basically a very fancy if statement, except the syntax is very strange. So what this does, if suit, remember suit's a string, if suit is a capital C, then we're gonna set suit equal to, this dot suit equal to zero. And what is zero? We're gonna scroll up to the suit. Your suits position zero is C for clubs. All right, so that would set it to clubs. That's if it's a capital C. Uh, and if it's a little c, it's going to do the same thing. So this case C, if it's a big C, what happens? It goes, it executes everything below the colon. So it'll execute these. So this sets suit to zero, and then the break, what break does, it gets you out of a block of code. So it'll get you out of this block of code. And what that effectively does, it skips everything down below. So it's gonna skip all these, so it's not gonna set the suit to one, two, or three. So that's if it's a C, and I do this so that it's a big C or a little C. Uh, a lot of times you're only going to see one of these like this, but I just wanted to take care of big uh, letter, capital letter and a lowercase letter. Do the same thing for D right here, and that's the diamond, which is suit equals one. Here's hearts, H, big or small H, sets the suit to two. Uh, big or small S sets the suit to three, 
what you see after all these is called the default and this will occur if none of these others happen this one happens by default if you don't put a break statement in here what will happen is suit will get set to three and then this will happen which is not what you want because if you get an S that's a valid suit and you should set suit to three and you should not be doing any of this right here. So let me put that break back in and we'll see this error get printed out. And what I do when in the case a card is created in an invalid way, I set suit and rank to zero. And if you remember, suit and rank were final in the lectures for chapter 12, but I did not make them final because what that lets us do is set the value more than once. And why is that useful? Well, up here I'm setting the rank. So the rank might be valid, but later on if the suit is not valid, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the default and then I can set the suit and the rank to zero for an invalid card. If rank was final, I could set it here, but I could not then go and set it down here. So I wanted to set the rank to zero uh, because if I print out this card later, what does a rank zero card look like when it prints? So we're gonna go look at the ranks. Here's the rank zero. It, the card itself, when you uh, turn it into a string, it will uh, have the word error in the two string. Okay, that's the other constructor. Uh, I'm not gonna show you my if statements in here. So you're gonna have to write, I did it in 15 lines. You don't have to do it in 15 lines. You can do it more or less in 15 lines, totally fine. It's a couple of if else statements and that's pretty much what's in here and some comparisons. And that should take care of your constructors.